Hello everybody, I'm Vicky from Utella Yoga if you don't know me and I'm just going to chat away for a couple of minutes um, while people hopefully arrive. So today is our yin yang yoga session for anyone who hasn't done one of these sessions before. The idea is that we bring two different approaches to yoga together. So the yin approach, which is slower, static uh, poses for a bit longer um, than usual, where we resolve to be passive and relax into the poses rather than um, activate the muscles. The yang, uh, the yang approach is where we're activating the muscles. There is generally more movement, um, it's generally more active um, and it's, it's, all, it's all in relative. So the idea is two opposites relatively uh, coming together to achieve balance within ourselves. Madhava, so I can also see Linda and I can see Helen as well, welcome. Uh, what we're going to be doing today is a session called It's a Wrap and anyone else who's there that I can't see as well, hello. Uh, and the idea is that to start with, we're going to be doing half on the floor, and then we're going to be doing half standing. Um, we're going to be doing poses of the different um, variations of, of, of the same poses quite a lot of time, a lot of the time actually. Um, some on the floor and some standing. Um, we will be doing a bit of a short flow, but this isn't really a focus of the class so much. It's a bit more of a reset, really. Um, and many of the poses, uh, it's called It's a Wrap, um, because many of the poses are going to be wrapping arms around arms and legs around legs and arms around bodies and various things like that. Um, there is quite a lot of shoulder work today, um, so I hope that that works for you. So let's get started. But disappeared then Linda. So we're going to start as I said on the floor. Before we begin, I don't know if you saw the message or not, um, please do if you don't have it, we're going to need this in a second, grab something you can just hold on to. It can be anything as long as it's you know, it could be a sock, it can be a scarf, it can be a t-shirt, it can be anything as long as it's just something with a little bit of length. So please go and grab that if you don't have one. Anything will work towel as well. Also, um, it might be an idea to have something to sit on, so a block or cushions or something like that. So um, if you need to run off and get something, then if you have these things already, then please just sit. And let's just close our eyes for a minute. Just Let's just come into the room before we start and also give if anybody time who's grabbing something, just give them a bit of a minute to find it. So just close your eyes. And in fact, let's, let's start in a lying position. So lie back on the floor, knees bent. <clears throat> My cat's been pulling up the plants and there's soil everywhere. <laughs> I don't know if you can see that. So we're going to start with eye of the needle. So this is going to be yin. Uh, so we want to resolve to relax into the pose, to be passive, as I said at the start. But unlike a pure yin class, it's not going to be anywhere near as long in the poses um, as we would usually. So approximately a minute or so. So to start with, just bend the right knee and then just take uh, that foot, the ankle, the right outside right ankle on the left knee. So you want to be starting to feel this in the outside right hip. If this is enough to stay in for a minute or so, then stay here. If you'd like more, bring up the left knee. And thread, this is why it's called through the needle, your right arm through the legs. And you can hold on to either the outside of the knee or the inside of the knee. And we're just going to stay here for about half a minute. As I said, nowhere near as long as we would in a pure yin class, which is generally three to five minutes. But I still want you to just use the same principle, which is not to push, to go to your natural stopping point, 
Notice where you're feeling the sensation in the body. See if that's okay for the amount of time that we're going to stay in. So as I said, it's about 15 seconds now actually, 10. And then resolve to relax the muscles, to resolve to stay still. Closing your eyes if that's comfortable. Stay just a little bit longer actually. And always, always listen to the body. If anything hurts, then adjust the body. Move the legs around, for example. Okay, so then just let go. If you're holding on to the knee, bring that foot back down. Place the right foot on the floor and we'll go directly to the other side. So place the outside left ankle on the knee. Either keep it here if this is enough in the left hip, or if you want more, bring the knee in, take hold behind the knee or in front of the knee. Go to the point where you're okay to stay for around a minute, 45 seconds or so. Ask yourself, am I pushing or is this the right balance between not too much stretch or too little stretch? As I said, the outside left hip. The outside hips are the target area in this pose. Keep the muscles relaxed as this is the yin. This is a yin pose. Close your eyes, just for a few moments. Notice some sensations in the outside hip. And then we're gonna come out. So let go of the knee if you've got it. Just briefly place the feet on the floor. Notice how the hips feel. In a longer yin class for anybody who doesn't know, this is called the rebound and we do this for much longer. In a, in a pure yin class. And then we're gonna make our way up to sitting. So if you like, you can rock up to sitting or whatever way, doesn't matter, unimportant. So next, this is where we're gonna use the whatever piece of material you've got. Doesn't need to be very long, but what I want you to do is take hold of it in your right hand, okay? And then what I want you to do is then just bring that hand towards or between the shoulder blades. So what we've done here, as you can see, is we've externally rotated that shoulder. We're going to do the same with the other hand. So rotate and bring. So we're turning the hand round so that the back of the hand is on the back. Yeah, so we've also, as you can see, we've also rotated the shoulder as well. So what we're doing here is I want you to take hold of whatever it is you're holding in both hands, not very tight because we're going to be moving the arms, keeping that rotation in the shoulders, and then just slowly, first of all, pull that hand up, Hold it there, notice how it feels in this bottom arm, in this bottom shoulder, and then pull it down. You're not trying to bring the hands towards each other. We're trying to feel this in the shoulders. Pull it up, and then come down. So this is yang, this is movement. We're activating the muscles. I want you to notice what's going on in the shoulders and in the arms. Do it mindfully, notice the movements, and notice your limitations. Notice how far you can go in the shoulders. You may even be hearing or feeling a bit of a click in one of the shoulders, which is what I'm feeling. So do be careful with that. That is basically your compression point of which you really cannot go past. So just be careful with that. Be gentle. Don't over pull, we're being active, but we're not over pulling. And just one more time. 
So it's like we're kind of cleaning our backs. After a shower, let go. And then we're going to do a yin version of that. So this time you can still continue to use this, that's fine. Or another option is you can bring the hands together if that works for you. So holding on to the hands, but don't push it. And you are welcome to continue to use this. Different for different people, depending on your shoulder possibilities. So either holding on to that material or holding on to the hands. So for the yin, this time relax. See if you can relax the muscles. And our target area here is we're opening up the front of the chest. We're opening the chest. And the arms and the front shoulders. Close the eyes, feel the sensations there. Okay, and then let go. And then we're gonna to go to the other side. So this time take hold of this piece of material, whatever it is in the left hand, then again, Rotate the shoulder so you're turning the hand round basically and you're bringing it either between or towards the middle of the shoulder blades. Same thing. Rotate this shoulder as well so that your back of your hand is on your back. You're holding on to this piece of material again and then slowly just start making that kind of flossing movement. Feeling the sensations in the shoulders and in the arms and noticing your possibilities. So your limits really. How far can you go without pushing? You're noticing where your point of compression is. So for example, where the arm bone it's the socket and can't go any further and you're never going to be able to go any further than that. Paying attention to those movements, activating the muscles. And one more. Let go. And then we're going to do this pose, cow face arms, continuing to use this or holding the hands. And you may notice that on one side it may be easier than the other. You may be able to hold the hands on one side and not on the other, for example. Just notice that. Close the eyes again. Notice that opening. Now, if you've got any pinching in the shoulders, by the way, move, move the arms around, move the shoulders around to move around that pinching sensation. Again, what's happening there is there's a pinching, there's a compression point that's causing pain where the bone's pinching into the tissue to another different type of tissue, for example, the soft tissue. We don't want that. And then just let go. And then what we're gonna do is we're now gonna move on to hands and knees. Coming back a bit on the mat and then just walking the hands forward, keeping the hips in the air for Anahatasana. So we're bringing a bit of a back bend in here. We're stretching out the arms. Again, if you're feeling a pinching sensation in the shoulders, widen the arms as much as you want to, either both arms or one arm. But our target area is the underside of the arms. That's where we're stretching. You can tuck the toes or not, it's up to you. And you can drop either the forehead down or the chin down. Widen the arms as much as you need to. Do not stand for a pinching in the shoulders. Relax the muscles. We're doing this in a yin way to start. Relaxing into the pose.
okay? And then we're gonna move into a bit more of a yang way. So just go up on the fingertips and just kind of bob. Yeah, so we've still got the same target area, of course, although you may be feeling a bit more compression perhaps in the back, the upper back, the back shoulders. But activate the muscles here, same target area, but this time we're focusing more on the muscles, less on the connective tissue. And then just walk the hands, keeping up on the fingertips, over to the left, same thing. Notice that stretch on the side of the body, the right side of the body, bobbing up and down a bit. And then walk over to the left. Same thing. You can look under the arm if you want to. Go as far as you need to, just to feel this stretch on the left side here. Activating the muscles, using the muscles, moving so that it's more yang. And then coming back to the center. And then we're going to just move into a seated position. Um, you can do this with or without the legs, it's up to you. So if you would like to move into a shoelace position, then from kneeling, bring the right knee over, careful not to pull on the knee. Sorry, I'm just going to grab, you might want to grab something to sit on. And then you're going to kind of sit in between the heels. Some people, your knee may be quite far up, that's fine. That's connected to your rotation possibilities. Play with the legs. Um, and don't worry if it doesn't look like this. This is, this is because of my body, because of my rotation possibilities. Your knees might be slightly more apart. Your knee might be a bit further up. If you are feeling this in the knee, I would suggest trying sitting up on something. Yeah, and see how that feels. If you're still feeling it in the knee, then by all means, another option is to come into more of a square position. So like a cross-legged position, but you're uncrossing the legs. Hopefully you can see that, I think so. So the right foot is actually in front, that's another option. So you can choose to do that one, or just cross your legs as well, that's fine. Don't do something just because I'm doing it. Okay, and then what we're gonna do, bend the elbows. Bring them together. This is going to be yang. So push the hands and the arms together and notice how the upper back, the shoulders broaden with this. A seemingly simple, pushing the hands, pushing the arms together. Seemingly simple pose, but actually there's a lot of work going on there in the shoulders. Pushing together. And then letting go, and then for the yin, fold forward. Notice where you're feeling this. Again, you may well be feeling it in the outside right hip. Just relax into it, just for 30 seconds or so. Go to your natural stopping point. Don't push, keep it yin. Okay, and then come up and we'll go to the other side. So if you are in shoelace, then just come back onto your hips. Be careful, be very, very careful with your knees. Always listen. And then the same thing. So the, uh, the right knee is bent underneath and then you are going to bend the top knee and put it on top. So you're sitting somewhere in between the heels. The feet may be close, they may be a bit further away. You may be in the square pose that I showed you before instead. You may be in cross legs. Either of those, any of those is fine. If you're feeling it in the knee and it helps to sit up on something, do that. And then we're going to do the same thing. We're going to bring those hands and arms together, pushing against each other, feeling that broadening, feeling that stretch, in the back shoulders. You can bring the arms up a bit if you want as well. See how that feels. Oh, my arms are shaking. 
Okay, and let go. And then fold forward for the yin. Relax into the pose. Relax the muscles. And then come up. And we're going to move into our standing section. So then just make your way to the front of the mat in whatever way works for you. And as I said, this is going to be a flow, but it's more as a reset, not as a focus so much. Bringing the palms together in front. Coming to your breath. Maybe slowing down the breath a little, using the breath with the poses. So breathing in, arms come up. Breathe out, fold forward. Breathe in, go flat back. Breathe out, fold forward. Breathe in, right foot goes back. Breathe out, right knee goes down. Breathe in, stretch up, keep the legs strong. Breathe out, bring those arms together again. Breathe in, drop down, but keeping the legs strong. Breathe out, pressing the arms together, breathe in. Breathe out, dropping down, but keeping the arms strong and the legs. Breathe in, arms go up. Breathe out, hands come down. Breathe in, go to plank. Breathe out, come down, knees, chest, chin, or down and plank. Chaturanga, sorry, breathe in, go to back bend, breathe out, come down. Breathe in, push back into down dog. Breathe out, stay in down dog, maybe pedal the feet, breathe in. Breathe out. Breathe in. Breathe out, come to stillness. Breathe in. Breathe out, come to the front of the mat. Breathe in, go to flat back. Breathe out, fold forward. Breathe in, stretch up. Breathe out, come to the center. Let's go to the other side. Breathe in, stretch up. Breathe out, fold forward. Breathe in, go to flat back. Breathe out, fold forward. Breathe in, left foot goes back. Breathe out, left knee comes down. Strong legs, breathe in, stretch up. Breathe out, bring those arms together. Breathe in. Breathe out, drop down a bit lower, keeping the arms pressed and the legs strong. Breathe in. Breathe out, do the same again. Breathe in, stretch up. Breathe out, hands on either side of the foot. Breathe in, go to plank. Breathe out, knees, chest and chin, or chaturanga. Breathe in, go to back bend. Breathe out, come down. Breathe in, go to down dog. Breathe out, then just stay in down dog. Breathe in. Breathe out, come to the front. Breathe in, go to flat back. Breathe out, fall forward. Breathe in, come up. Breathe out, bring the palms together. And then you can stay there. We can turn to look at me if you can't see me. And what we're gonna do is our final wrap using the arms and the legs. So just pull the weight first of all into the left foot, bend the right knee, and then just wrap it around the left, okay. You can bend both knees. Notice the weight, the distribution of the weight. You can have your hands on your hips if you want to. And then you can either leave that toe on the floor or you can actually wrap it around the leg. With the arms, you can either do what we were doing before, 
pressing the arms together or we can do eagle arms. So right arm over left, palms towards each other or holding. And then you can feel that opening in the upper back, in the shoulders again. And if you want more, bring the elbows up. If you want less, bring the elbows down, keeping your balance. And remember to try and keep your balance. Find a point ahead of you just to focus on. You can even try closing your eyes if you want, but that's more difficult. Ah, I lost mine. Okay, and then let go of the arms, bring them down. Bring that toe down if it's not already. And then you can stand. And just move the legs, move the feet before we go to the other side. Same thing. So first of all, the left leg, round the right leg, toe on the floor. Start again, pull the weight into the right, bend both knees first, and then take the left over the right. So as I said, you can stay here with the toe on the floor, that's fine. You might wanna do that to start with anyway, or you can lift it, wrapping it around that leg. This side I'm gonna do it with the toe on the floor, just to show you. You can either bring the arms together, pressing against each other, opening up the back shoulders, or eagle arms to the other side. Left arm over right, bend the elbows, bring the hands together, or bring the hands towards each other, or alternatively, you can use what we were using before, the, uh, the belt or the material, whatever it is that you were using. So you can, you can use that to give you some grip as well. Yeah, that can be really useful. If you want more stretch, as I said, bring the elbows up. If you want less, bring them down. Find that point in the distance. Relaxed effort. And then let go of the hands. Straighten the legs. Unwrap the legs. And then just bending the knees, perhaps shaking out the legs. And then we're just going to move into our final few minutes of relaxation. So you can either sit or you can lie. You choose whatever you want. Just get comfortable for the last couple of minutes. Just to notice the effects of our short but very practice wrapped practice whatever is comfortable for you please don't run away give yourself these couple of minutes it's only a couple of minutes whatever is next can wait so just get comfortable and close your eyes and i'm just going to set the timer three minutes and then when you hear the final bell and just make your way back up into a seated position but taking your time
So please just slowly make your way back to join me sitting if you aren't already. Socks and I are going to say now, say bye-bye.